Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hey there, thank you for joining me. I'm going to talk about a movie I revisited, written and directed by Kevin Smith, Red State. It came out in, I believe, 2011, written and directed by Kevin Smith, starring Michael Angariano. <laughs> uh, John Goodman is in it, Carrie Beach, Nicholas Braun. This movie really surprised me. I'm not a big fan of Kevin Smith in his movies, I'm more of a fan of his personality. His podcasting. I've never been a fan of the comedies he put out. I'm not a hater. They just don't get to me for the most part. Although I, there's some things I like. This movie is great. I think it's his best work ever. He had to do this independently. And it's actually like a horror film. It's crazy. Just the performances in here are... Amazing. I remember being really surprised when it came out and I watched it. And I was blown away. I was not expecting this type of experience. So, going behind the scenes, it took Kevin Smith a long time to get this movie done. He did everything himself. And picking out the casting and stuff. I'm not sure if he gets all the credit for everything. But... Kudos, bravo. And I think he did things like he had to go have it in a certain amount of theaters for a little while. But that wasn't his concern. His concern was, I think, getting out a movie that he had real pride in. And I, and I think it shows. The plot, I don't like to give out plots and spoilers. But I'll generally say, spoiler warning, In a, it's an older movie, but just to give the general plot without too much. So several teenagers, uh, I think three of them think they're going to hook up with a, a sex party. And it turns bad. And a series of events happens that connect everything with the police, um, special divisions of the law enforcement, and a religious cult. The movie's dark, its humor is deep, it hits on levels that I didn't think it would be possible for Kevin Smith. And I've even had some issues with the way he handled certain things when he worked for DC or something like that. It was just too fluffing up stuff that they were doing that was just horrible. So I'm not even somebody who totally agrees with him. But I love his specials. I don't know if you can call it stand-up comedy. Um, his personality, his movement with uh, talking about marijuana and weed. But I've never been going around saying uh, how much of a fan I am of his movies. Red State is the one. How it begins, the story, the way it's told, it's amazing. There was actually a weird ending type thing that actually worked for me. I thought it was pretty cool. And there's a story behind alternate ending. But this pastor, pastor um, of this religious sect, it just blows up into this big ordeal. I guess you can consider it like Waco or, you know, one of the things that have happened historically. And John Goodman playing an ATF agent, the local sheriff getting involved, the chain of command, orders coming down, that type of... Um, movie and it basically it becomes a horror movie it's scary in the fact that how real it is especially someone like me who tries to understand how human behavior you know affects people and beliefs it's just an amazing movie uh highly recommended in my opinion a must see especially if you're a fan of him He's done, like, I think he did this walrus fucking movie. I don't know, but he said 
someone gave him an idea and he ran with it. It's just craziness. He'll do things that I think he loves and I think that's a hit and miss. But when you're someone who's creative, I think it's brave in a way. There was a lot of um, story going on with this movie behind the scenes with marketing and things like that. It just became apparent that this is a different movie. And this is me looking back on it because I just caught it out of the blue. I think it was one of those you catch it on Netflix type things and I didn't know anything. I don't even remember if I knew who the director or writer was. It was only afterwards being amazed at the movie going, holy shit, telling my friends about it and then looking into it. Finding out it was Kevin Smith, um, it was on Joe Rogan, things like that. And there's like some things, like I said, behind the scenes with uh, him deciding to do self distribution, uh, you know, some type of, some type of auction thing. You could check the Wikipedia's, but I remember just being so blown away. This is a amazing movie. I think if it re- got mixed reviews, it's maybe called for in the, in the way it's edited and cut. But I think there's like no music, no soundtrack and it works. It makes you kind of notice how music is used in movies to manipulate you and bring out um, certain key elements in the storyline, you know, to give you excitement or sadness and love, that type of thing. It could be overused, I think. And here, it's non-presence is part of the movie in a way. I just rewatched it, and um, man, it's just such a good fucking movie. I, I'm not even sure if this, because this if this came out in 2011. I don't even know what I was a fan of of his. Maybe it was some of the stand or the shows he did, podcasting and, you know, his presence on social media more than uh, clerks and things like that. But this is a departure from him. Really good. Uh, I think it's it's a real favorite movie of mine. And it just happens to be Kevin Smith. It just blows my mind in a way. Like I said, I'm not a hater. I'm Kind of, I like him a lot in in a certain way, but not really for his talent as a movie director. And it just is a big surprise to me. I think a lot of people would really appreciate this movie for what it is. And with everything that goes on in the movie between a hostage situation, a buildup of law enforcement, you know, are they going to obey orders, disobey orders? Uh, what's going on inside the um, cult's uh, group and how it's being run? Uh, the actors' performances nail everything, capture it amazingly. You just can't say enough good things about this movie. And a movie that kind of slips by my uh, radar a lot of times because it just the way it came out. It's independent. There's a feeling of, I don't know, maybe that he got disgruntled with the industry in in general. You know, you get a movie, your script, and I'm not exactly sure how the process works. I've only touched my toe in it with trying to get scripts out there and stuff, but you got a name like his, you got a idea, maybe it didn't look good on paper. I don't know the whole surroundings of it. But it's a great movie, an interesting story behind the scenes. I like him as a person. And watching it again just blew my mind at how good it is. And how high I rank it in the movies I like. I like to pick genres and give all movies an equal footing. So if one's a great sci-fi movie, a horror movie, in a traditional sense. This goes into that niche with real life horror um not as overboard as like a texas chainsaw massacre and hostile and movies like that but in a eerily strange 
real way because of my association with being an atheist and sometimes an anti-theist against certain religions and the dangers of belief. It's just, just the right elements to get me hooked, enough quality and talent that lets the movie stick with me as a special moment of uh, waking up to Kevin Smith's talent. Watch Red State. Let me know in the comments if you have any disagreements or you agree. It's around Mother's Day. I'm not sure when this will be put out, but happy Mother's Day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. I wish the best to you and yours. Bye-bye.